Hey, hey there. I just wanted to come on and show you all a quick way that you can make cover photos inside of CapCut. So we're going to use the iPad version right now. And we're just going to use a project that I've already created. And so what we're going to do is you see this cover picture right here? Uh, be able to click that and now you can choose anywhere in the video. You can either use a template, add text, or edit cover in another app. But you can go to a frame in the video and then add text which is what i really like so if you've uploaded it or if you create it in another place you can upload your own picture but i like the fact that i can create it right in here it gives me instagram vibes but in a more helpful way so now i can add text and i can put in you know we'll just blah 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 blah, blah for now right but what we can do is we can continue to edit like the fonts so there's tons of fonts that you have here we'll go with oswald right then we can go to the style and we can change these things these are things that i wasn't paying attention to before but you can change the size right you can change the opacity okay you can change the stroke if you want a stroke behind it right and here's the stroke you can also change the canvas right so when you see that those block letters we can change that we can also change the corner radius i really like the rounded corners as well change the height the width so these are all things that I just didn't get deep into for Canva. You can change the way that it interacts. So if we had two, um, uh oh, okay. If we had two signs, so type some stuff here and I press return and I type it there again. As you can tell, we have here, it shapes it just differently. Either way, you can shape the way that it's styled here, whether you want it to go around it or if you want it to go just in a block. Um, then you can control shadow, spacing, uh, the way that the words are utilized. So we're going to go back here. I'm going to press that plus sign. So now we can add this for our title, change where it is. And then when we press save, what it does, it saves the cover. And when you export it out, it is essentially like the first frame in your draft. So we can export this out. Then I will take you over to Instagram to show you what it looks like. Okay, great. And I'm going to go to an Instagram page and press plus. And we have this video that we have right here. So we can, you can see that is the first frame and that's what you'll be able to select as your cover. So even if I just press next, okay. Then I press next. Now, when I go to edit cover, as soon as it loads, we'll be able to see the full length of it and now so before, if you just export it out, you have to find a decent frame in the video. But now I have it right here. Okay. And I will be able to press done and so on and so forth. Now I have that as my title cover that we created with inside of CapCut. So we can also do this on desktop and website, I'm sure. But when you go over to your desktop, you'll see the same situation right here. You can click that. You can select a clip. So what I'm suggesting is maybe you just leave a little bit of room with no text or graphics in the beginning or somewhere within your video that you can create a clean uh, image from. So my sister, this is my sister. Either way, so what I can do here, select from local video, and then I'm going to press edit. And now what I can do is add just my text, but they have a lot of different templates that you all can use. If that's what your group is, I kind of keep things pretty simple. So I'm going to add a text. So we'll go default text and I will double click here and I will just put some nonsense again. All right, now here is fonts that we can choose. So funny, cute. I can change the size of this here, All right? So if we have shadow, if we want shadow, stroke, if we want a stroke, I'm gonna say a background. Let's go with a black background, okay? And then bubble spacing, all this other stuff, uh, different ways that you can customize as well. As well as look, you can add your own picture should you choose to. But this is just a short video that I wanted to do for you all just to help you customize your profile just a little bit more. Um, we're seeing a lot of people just uh, because they're giving value and information before you even look at the video, you can kind of preview what it's about before you click instead of having to guess to see if you want to interact with it. So this might be a way to help you improve your engagement just by giving people a little bit of insight on what the video is about. So how to do this or when I did this or visiting or three tips, you get it. Check out some of the other videos on my channel where I'm teaching you more about repurposing tips and how to edit. Take care.